you probably know me, I'm Stephen Quill, and I work with KX. And I'm joined here tonight by my colleague Nicole Egan. And she's from Buffalo, so if you've got any questions about the best wings in New York City, please do leave. And so we've got a few things to go through tonight. So we'll go through some stuff, and then we'll take a little five minute break, and then we'll go through some other stuff. And it's we'll quite an interactive environment tonight. So, and so if you want to move on to the slide, Nicole, please. And so, yeah, and first things first is we basically redid um, the R API, I'm going to say R or R, depending on if you're from Dublin or anywhere outside of Dublin. And so basically that's now available on our GitHub repository, and we basically fixed a lot of uh, bugs that were already prevalent, and we've done some renaming. And so what was formerly called QServer is now called R ADB, and, and then it's also available as a package via DevTools, so you can just do it directly from DevTools. And we're actually looking at, and we're almost in to be approved for actually releasing a CRAM package. So you can go directly and do it directly from CRAM. And then we also have Embed R as well, which is basically the formerly R server. So we just wanted to make it a bit clearer which one was which. So it must be the bi-directional support. And we've now added some of the interactive graphics and plotting, where we're going to show you even better interactive graphics and plotting later tonight. And then we've added all of the different um, user type conversions in. So obviously before we kind of restricted a um, list of the data types were supported, so now we've put everything in. And the code is available on GitHub on this link. And if you just go and look for KX systems, GitHub, you'll find it pretty easily. And it's only the Apache and to license, and then we also have the documentation available for that on code.kx.com. And then uh, the next slide is something similar, so it's going to be the Kafka interface. So we have to put in some sort of a hipster image in there, the existentialist among you. And so basically, this supports multiple clients, publishers, and subscribers, all in the same process. And so it uses a multi threaded C API under the hood. So this is all written from scratch, and so it's bi directional, unlike other Kafka APIs. Um, and you can get the detailed message of the code and delivered, and you can get metadata, statistics, errors, and all exposed. Once again, um, the code is available on GitHub, Apache 2 license, and then code.kx.com, we have some pretty good documentation examples, and we'll be doing more. Um, and also, so for those of you who are either R programmers or Kafka programmers, if any of you are interested in actually playing around with this and presenting it at a future meetup, please let us know afterwards. Because I think there's actually quite a lot involved, so we could probably have a separate meetup based on that, which is why we just wanted to skip over it tonight. And we also just have a general initiative of we're looking at all the APIs and we're going to try and beef them up. And so several different languages, including some of the available APIs already. And so if you have any suggestions, once again, come and have a chat with us afterwards.